Hello, this is Dr. Jamil Ahmed and my topic will be emergency room visit by elderly person. If you go to the hospital, you'll find that there are a lot of people over age 65 or 60 in the emergency room. By definition, Anybody over age 65 is geriatrics, but we call them senior citizen out of being polite. World Health Organization, their criteria for geriatric person is over 60 because they consider worldwide population and things like that and it's justified. When somebody goes to the emergency room, they usually get a blood work. Okay, I'll go back to one case study just to see how it all pans out. Suppose one person had a fall and decided to go to the emergency room. So automatically they get some x-rays and also have some blood work. X-rays was all good, nothing broken. and blood work looks okay. So, doctor suggested that probably he should get some ibuprofen and muscle relaxant and should go home. That's what he did. At home, he was not feeling well. So, he decided to come back after two, three days. At that time, his serum creatinine bumped up a lot. On the top, her potassium was high, so he was diagnosed with acute renal failure. Sometimes, NSAID can cause renal failure, especially somebody on ACE inhibitor. And the patient was on ACE inhibitor for hypertension. He is also a diabetic. These are all a uh, things to think about before putting on somebody on ibuprofen although it is very benign but it can be problematic for some people you know before used to see that if somebody on vancomycin or gentamicin that type of medication used to be very careful about renal function I think a lot of people get renal problems from ibuprofen and remain undiagnosed. So before giving ibuprofen, make sure that he doesn't have any risk factor. And also instead of looking at the serum creatinine, creatinine clearance needs to be calculated and medication needs to be adjusted especially for older people because tests can be deceiving we often see people coming to the emergency room with abdominal pain abdominal pain in geriatrics is a headache for the doctors it doesn't follow the usual signs symptoms like you know if you have appendicitis your right lower quadrant will be painful. If you have a gallbladder disease, you'll be right upper quadrant of the abdomen will be painful. Or if you have a diverticulitis, your left lower quadrant will be painful. In older person, that, that may not make no sense. You'll have a pain all over the place. Even somebody having a heart attack, can come with upper abdominal pain or abdominal pain. So you have to be careful when you see a pain in a geriatric population, especially abdominal pain. If you look into detail of people who come to the emergency room, a significant number of the patient will have some pathology 
and some may need surgical intervention. So, if somebody comes to the emergency room with abdominal pain, CT scan of the abdomen is probably needed just to make sure that you're not missing something big. Usually, x of the abdomen is not very helpful. And on the top, if you do the blood work, white cell count is normal, no fever, liver functions are normal. So it is a difficult thing to figure out what's wrong, but CT scan will give you right direction to follow. Next topic is fall and elderly. Fall is very common in elderly population. One third of people who live at home over age 65 will have fall. 60% of all the people who live in nursing home will have a fall. Two thirds of the people who had fallen will have another fall in the next six months. And uh, if you fall and break your hip, six month mortality is 25%, which is worse than having an MI or renal failure. Cancer with brain mass has a worse prognosis. Studies is shown that people who had a broken fracture and able to handle the surgery, it should be done very quickly. So at the emergency room, they will be evaluated, make sure that they don't have any major comorbidities like a congestive heart failure or arrhythmias, that surgery should be delayed. Usually, a orthopedic surgeon will be involved and quickly fix the hip and work for physical therapy and rehabilitation. So if somebody comes with a broken hip, needs to be worked up quickly and follow, followed up accordingly. Next thing is sepsis, which is pretty common. And uh, because they have lower immunity, have multiple comorbidities, all predispose them for infection. You know, sometimes they are in the bed, have trouble swallowing and aspirating. They usually don't present the way other people do. They may not have fever in 50% of the cases or their temperature may be a little lower than expected. So somebody comes to the emergency room and they think that uh, he may have sepsis because of change of mental status. We look into few things to rule out these things, like if temperature is over 38 degrees centigrade or less than 36 degrees centigrade or heart rate is over 90. And specifically in older people, if heart rate is over 90, it is something to worry about. Then respiratory rate is over 20. Leukocytosis or white cell count is high, is over 12 or less than 4.1. If he meets the criteria for sepsis, then you start antibiotic after you get the cultures and x-rays. You need to start the antibiotic as soon as you can because it is shown that first time you give antibiotic, better the prognosis is. Urinary tract infection and pneumonia is not uncommon in older people at all and their only symptom may be confusion, not cough or complaining of dysuria. In summary, taking care of elderly people may not be very exciting, 
like doing an angioplasty or having uh, bronchoscopy to remove a foreign body but most of the people who come to the emergency room probably are elderly people and bread and butter things to do with the emergency room are taking care of urinary infection, non-cardiac chest pain, anxiety, trauma, laceration and that probably fills the whole day. On the top some days there will be a stroke, mini stroke and a fall, head trauma. The number of patients that comes to the emergency room increases with age. There is 86 visits per 100 person over age 90 compared to 34 people per 100 between 60 and 69 years. Nowadays people are more aware of the things going on from the news, the videos and uh, information they get in the internet and sometimes family will come with the patient and tell that you know every time my mother gets urinary tract infection she gets very confused and they are often right but confusion can be from many other reasons that we have to rule out make sure that it's not a stroke or not a side effect from the medication and that line. Your visit usually sig signals that they may, are, they may be having something more serious than the problem at hand. Usually social service gets involved uh, to understand domestic issue, risk for falls, whether the patient needs physical therapy when they go home or needs a proper follow-up with the cardiologist or neurologist and whether have any family support with the patient or maybe it's time for the patient to go to a, a skill care facility. Thinking process of whole medical system is to change as our demography is changing. Nobody wants to come to the hospital, especially at the emergency room and wait for hours, especially not older people. Thank you.